Deck D. <laughs> Air, the wonders of Earth's atmosphere. A group of wide-eyed children step into a giant basket tied to a hot air balloon. They look up amazed as the balloon begins to rise slowly off the ground. Whoa! We are flying through the clouds, feeling the thrill of the wind, enjoying the serene beauty in our hot air balloon. <laughs> yes, children, the hot air balloon is taking us up in the sky. Hmm. How is the hot air balloon flying, Ms. Danico? As the air inside the balloon is heated, it becomes less dense. Hot air is lighter than the cool air surrounding the balloon, so the hot air makes the balloon rise high. Oh, can you tell more about air, Ms. Taniko? Composition of air Air is present everywhere. Living things breathe air to stay alive. The envelope of air surrounding the Earth is called the atmosphere. The air in Earth's atmosphere is made up of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% of other gases such as carbon dioxide, neon, hydrogen, and so on. Air is a tasteless, colorless, and odorless gas. Air is amazing. Isn't it, kids? It can make things float like bubbles. It can move things around. Like when we sail boats or fly kites. Alright little folks, settle down. Now that we are up here, let us discuss about the forms of air. Ooh, what was that gush of air, Ms. Taniko? Children, that was wind. When we step out into the open, have you noticed your clothes fluttering in different directions? Yes, Miss Taniko. Look, my hair dances freely in the breeze. <laughs> yes, children. Sometimes air blows gently and sometimes it blows strongly. This shows us that air moves things. Hold on tight. Are there names for gentle and strong air, Miss Taniko? Yes, dear. Air is called as wind, breeze, gale or storm, depending on its speed. Properties of air? Air moves and has force. Air has speed and direction. Air exerts pressure. First property. Air moves and has force. Moving air is called wind. A gentle movement of air is called a breeze. A strong wind with high speed is called a gale. A violent wind with lightning, thunder, heavy rain is called a thunderstorm. Oh, look there. Hey, what's that thing spinning over there? Oh, that's an anemometer. It measures wind speed. Wind speed? Like how fast the wind is blowing? Isn't it, Miss Taniko? Exactly. It tells us how fast the air is moving. You can see the little cups spin around and they measure how quickly the wind pushes them. Then how do we find wind direction? Good question. 
Wind direction is measured with a wind vane which is usually attached to the same instrument. It shows us where the wind is coming from. Second property, air has speed and direction. The speed and direction of the wind are important to understand. The climate and weather. An anemometer measures wind speed. Wind direction can be determined using a wind vane. This is our third property. Air exerts pressure. Am I right, Auntie? Of course. Air has weight and just like how the ground pushes up on us, the air pushes down on everything. This is called air pressure. High pressure usually means good weather and low pressure might mean rain or storms. Third property, air exerts pressure. Air is made up of tiny particles that are always moving around. Let's do an experiment to know about this tiny particles and its pressure. Take a glass filled with water. Now take a piece of cardboard and place it on the open end of the glass. Hold the cardboard with your hand and invert the glass upside down. Then take away your hand. What did you see? The cardboard sticks to the surface. This is because the air's pressure is pushing the piece of cardboard in the upward direction. When these particles bump into things, they push against them. This push is called air pressure. From this, we can easily understand this tiny particles in air gives pressure. Miss Taniko, I know one secret. Air can also transmit sound. When we speak, clap. Play music instruments. Leaves rustle. Mosquitoes buzz. Sound waves travel through the air and reach our ears. You are brilliant, Asahi. Oh look, can you see those huge windmills in the distance, Asahi? The enormous fan-like structures. <laughs> ah, no teasing children. Yes, the huge fan-like structure is a windmill. What is a windmill used for Miss Taniko? Econ. Windmill gives us energy to produce electricity. Wind energy. Wind has a powerful force that can produce energy. This is known as wind energy. This is windmill. And this is rotor blade. When the wind blows, it causes the blades of the windmill to spin. As the blades spin, they turn a generator inside the windmill which creates electricity. This electricity can be used to power homes, schools, and even entire cities. Parts of the windmill, rotor blade, Gearbox Generator Power Cable Tower These are the parts of the windmill. Can air be used for fun sports and adventures? Yes, air is used for fun sports and adventures. What are they, Miss Taniko? There are parachuting, hang gliding, Paragliding, soaring, aerobatics for recreation, air pollution. Air is naturally clean and safe for all living things. Pollution occurs when air mixes with dust, smoke, and germs. Smoke coming out from vehicles and factories make the air dirty. Burning materials 
such as plastic, rubber, coal, wood and forest fires produce a lot of smoke that mixes with clean air and pollutes it. Prevent the spread of airborne disease. Wash hands with soap and water. Cover mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing. Wear a face mask in public places. Isolate yourself from others when sick. Keep rooms clean and well ventilated. Regularly clean and service fans, coolers and air conditioners. How do we preserve clean air in the atmosphere where we live, Ms. Taniko? I will tell you what we can do to preserve clean air, Smart Paggio. Ways to preserve clean air. Plant more trees as they give us oxygen to breathe and purify the air. Protect forests from being cut down. Avoid burning garbage. Avoid bursting firecrackers. Use e-vehicles or low-emission vehicles that do not produce smoke. Hold on tight, children. The hot air balloon is descending.